Hi, my name's Toby Mills, and today I'm going to be showing you how I uh, added the Batbox uh, cellular router from Amplified Engineering uh, to a Hugen uh, UAV running Arduino Pilot Mega. So this is the Hugen airframe. You can see it uh, looks pretty cool. Uh, got a two meter wingspan. Uh, let's have a look under the hood. You can see uh, in here we've got our APM uh, Arduino Mega 2. Uh, and over here we've got our fat box, which I've mounted upside down. Uh, you can see there the aerial connections come out. And I've got uh, two aerials mounted on the wing. Uh, that's because this is the uh, high speed uh, fat box. Uh, serial converter there. So the uh, fat box has built-in dynamic DNS, uh, which means every time it uh, fires up, it uh, registers its uh, DNS new IP address with uh, the DNS provider. Uh, so that's how we can tell what its IP address is. So um, if I put the IP address into um, a web page, I can uh, log on. You can also use the DNS name directly. Um, and here this is the configuration screen for the fat box. So I have set this one up under the application screen. Uh, serial transmit, so basically it takes uh, all the traffic that comes in on the serial port uh, and converts it to TCP IP. Uh, in this case it's a server and I want to send it out on port 5760, which is what the mission planner uh, is looking for. Uh, you can change that to UDP as well. Uh, I haven't got that working yet for some reason. Uh, Mission Planet doesn't uh, like that, so we'll stick to TCP uh, for our testing, and, uh, and I'll carry on working on UDP and figure out uh, why that's not working. Um, under the serial configure, uh, basically you just tell the fat box um, how fast your serial port is. So I've got that set to 57k. Uh, and we can also do some things with packet size. I've adjusted the defaults there uh, just to get it working slightly better. I um, reduced the default max data send interval uh, down from 100 down to 10 and that seems to work pretty good. Uh, so that's uh, pretty much all you need to do to configure the fat box other than um, on the first screen uh, when you first get it, you set it up uh, with your settings for your uh, telco provider. So it's pretty straightforward, not much to do there at all. So um, now that it's all hooked up, what we'll do is we'll uh, load up the mission planner. You can see here, uh, instead of going to um, a COM port, I haven't actually got a COM port on this laptop, so... Uh, what we'll do is just choose TCP. Um, so I'll zoom in on that so you can see there. Now TCP. Uh, we're going to go connect. And it's going to ask us the IP address. You can type the dynamic DNS name directly in there. Uh, but I'll type in the IP address. Port 5760, that's what we're expecting. And away she goes, you can see it's getting parameters. Actually, open up the console there, you can see what's going on, and it's pretty good. It's actually done. So, um, it's pretty cool. So now if I, uh, if I can do this, if I move my plane 
up and down we can see uh, that it's responding accordingly it's probably a little bit um, more latency than what you get from an XB uh, can't really tilt it on this but you can see there then everything is uh, working the same as what it would if you were connected via an XB um, if we go to the flight planner uh, I've actually got I can read in the waypoints that were there from before it's just going to give me the same ones back again um, there you go it's done that pretty quick configuration screen um, you can do everything that um, done so it's pretty great so the next thing I want to show you is uh, what else you can do with the fat box uh, this is a Vivo Tech um, IP camera uh, it's got pan, zoom and tilt, uh, weighs about 300 grams so it's actually uh, pretty light. Uh, it's a high quality camera, it's got 10 times uh, zoom, optical zoom. Um, they don't actually make these anymore but they do have some alternative models. Uh, this is model number 622 I think. Um, but um, yeah, great little camera so we're going to try adding that to our fat box uh, and, uh, and see what happens. So in the, in the moment you can see I've got a GoPro uh, mounted onto this airframe. Um, I've also got a uh, ready-made RC transmitter in there. Um, so what I'm going to try doing now is just uh, do some ground testing with the Vivo T camera. So we'll just um, we'll rest it on top of there for now uh, to get it working. Oops. We'll plug in the camera. There's an Ethernet cable here. Just gonna pull the power again. <laughs> cool. So that's plugged in there. So that Ethernet cable goes up there into the second Ethernet port on the fat box. So you can see it's powering up there. This will actually run off a 4S battery, so 14.8 volts. Uh, seems quite happy on that. Um, you can see everything's firing up there. Now, so what we'll do, um, jump back on the PC. The, the fat box will have a new IP address now, so um, we'll have to look that up and see what it is. Okay, so I've looked up the IP address of the camera using Dynamic DNS. Uh, pop it in the mission planner again. <clears throat> Reconnect. That's all good. Um, yep, so we're back in business there. Now I'll shoot back over. Uh, now what I've done uh, is I've put the camera into what's called a DMZ on the plane, which is like a private network, uh, and then I've exposed the ports that the camera uses uh, to the internet. So because the um, configuration for the fat box is on port 80 I'm going to put the camera on port 81 and you can see it comes up pretty quick uh, and I'll just turn off sound because it's got a microphone in it so you can see uh, there I am pretty scary and the cool thing about the uh, this particular camera is you can just click on an object and it will move and center that object uh, in the screen. Um, so that's pretty cool. Uh, you can then zoom in on that object uh, and it's got autofocus as well. So um, put the control there. So uh, up in the air um, that's going to be pretty handy because you can literally just click on an object to follow it. Uh, we don't need to worry about uh, auto tracking so much um, but that would be really nice to get that going as well. So there you go, we'll have a look at the camera moving which is pretty cool. So there we go. Um, that is uh, Fatbox, um, cellular router, uh, 